I'm adding favas and fresh green peas to a classic Italian cacioe pepe that's pasta with black pepper and cheese. So this is what favas look like when you get them at the market. And then when you shuck them, they just look like this. But you see these thick skins over here have to be peeled. So to peel them, the easiest way is to blanch them first, just in boiling water for about a minute. And then once they cool, you can just slit the skins right off. And you can use a paring knife or you can just use your thumbnail and just make a little slit and then just push the bean right out. You want to make sure to drain the pasta before it reaches that perfect al dente moment because you're going to finish cooking it in the sauce. So the pasta is ready to be drained, but before I drain it, I'm going to just save a little bit of the pasta water. For this recipe, the bite of the pepper, that's the pepe, is really important. So you want to make sure that your pepper is very coarsely ground. So the first thing I'm going to do is melt the butter. And once that's melted, I'm going to toast the pepper in the butter. And I'm going to let that pepper cook until it really smells fragrant and sharp. It takes about a minute. Now you want to pour in your pasta water. And you just want to let it reduce for about a minute and stir it so it emulsifies with the butter because that's the pan sauce. Now you just add the pasta and all the cheese. Then just stir it around. Tongs are really handy for this until the cheese starts to melt and then it'll coat all the pasta. And then you add the peas and favas. And that's it. Now you serve it. Now I'm just going to garnish the top with some chives. And since they're here, I might as well use the chive flowers. I'm just going to break it apart right in the bowl. It's going to make it look really pretty. As if this needs to look any prettier. 